OpenAI just released its newest model called GPT-40, and it's supposed to be the smartest and fastest model today. So as a paid GPT-4 user, I'm curious to know if it makes any sense to continue paying for the GPT-4 model. But yeah, of course, there are some limitations in usage, and I probably will cover this in another video. In this video, I'm going to test them with some prompts, and I'm going to time them with my timer here, um, just to see which one is faster, and we'll read the response and just decide which one is better too. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have two windows open here on the left-hand side, ChatGPT4, and on the right-hand side, ChatGPT40. So let's start with the first prompt, which is going to be the weather forecast. Okay, let's start with ChatGPT4 and let's hit it. Now it's searching the web, it's taking some time. Okay, so that took about 28 seconds, and as you can see, the answer is not at all what I'm looking for. So let's test it with ChatGPT 4.0 now. Okay, it took also about 28 seconds. So this one is a tie. And as you can see, it did answer my question and presented it in the table format. So this does look much better. And for this one, I would say the ChatGPT 4.0 wins. Okay, next one, I'm going to ask it to get me some news update. So top three global news stories from today. Let's hit it. Okay, again, about 28 seconds, and it did give us some top news from today. But I noticed there is only one source uh, website, so let's see what ChatGPT 4.0 is going to give us. And go. So this time it's much faster, about 20 seconds, and it gave us three different news. Oh, actually, uh, there was one that's the same with the Afghanistan flooding. But I do like the format of the ChatGPT 4.0 much better because you can directly click on the link in each article to go on the news article. Next up, I'm going to ask it to predict the Bitcoin price in the next year. So let's go. All right, so that was about 34 seconds. And now let's test GPT-40. Okay, this one took 29 seconds. So ChatGPT-40 wins again. And for the formatting or the result itself, I do much prefer the ChatGPT-40 answer because here you can see it's not really complete with the price predictions, but this is what I'm asking for. And for GPT-40, you can see you have short-term prediction, long-term prediction, even for like uh, early 2024, mid-2024, including the, the source of this answer. So I would say ChatGPT-40 wins on this one. All right, next up, I know a lot of us use GPTs to help us summarize some articles. So here we have a New York Times article. We're just gonna copy it. Copy the whole thing. Then let's ask it to give us some bullet points. Oh. Okay, that took 19 seconds. So let's see what GPT-4 can do. Okay, much faster this time only took 11 seconds. So let's actually read them. Right, so for the actual results, I wouldn't say which one wins this time. They have really similar answers, but since ChatGPT-4.0 was much faster, it still wins this time. And now I'm going to try to ask them to summarize a YouTube video, and this one is about AI, the future of AI, and provide some summary. So let's go. Okay, 
For this one, ChatGPT 4 said that he's unable to watch videos, but I gave the ChatGPT 4.0 exactly the same prompt and it did give me the three bullet points to sum up this video. So I don't know why, like ChatGPT 4 is supposed to have internet access to YouTube as well, but this is what happened. And for the time, uh, well, ChatGPT 4.0 took only 15 seconds to generate this answer. Let's move on to the next one. All right, for this one, I actually uploaded a PDF and asked it to summarize. And this is the Tesla annual report. So let's see. Go. So that took 34 seconds. And let's see for ChatGPT 40 And for ChatGPT 40 27 seconds. Okay, let's read them. So I would say that they have pretty similar results in terms of data, but the way that it was presented is quite different. I much prefer the ChatGPT 4.0 format where it just uses some bullet points without much fluff. So you can glance and then right away see like the revenue sources uh, for different years and also profitability. And this one you actually have to still read um, to find out. So I would say ChatGPT 4.0 wins on this one as it's much more effective. Next up, I uploaded a picture of a limited edition Nike sneakers and I'm asking it to show me where I can buy online. So hit go. Okay, 19 seconds. Let's see for GPT 4.0. This was 27 seconds, but I much prefer the results because as you can see, it's like the last one. It just uh, lists like a nice list with the links so you can quickly go and check them. Um, so yeah, I would say this one was much more effective in the ChatGPT 4.0 model as well. And next, I'm going to tell each of them to compare the latest model of top three smartphones. And I'm really looking forward to this one because this is really useful. Sometimes we are doing some purchase comparison and this um, can be really useful. So hit it. I really enjoyed it. This, I, I don't know about you, but I find it really fun to test like these two models, but it looks like it's taking some time. Okay, so that took a long time. This was one minute and 10 seconds. And let's see for ChatGPT 4.0. So 39 seconds and let's compare the results. The results are relatively similar, I would say, but <laughs> just look at that. In ChatGPT 4, it says Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra higher due to titanium use. So this is not really useful. I need like a real pricing information and for Google Pixel 8 Pro, relatively pricey. <laughs> this is just kind of funny, uh, but ChatGPT 4.0 gave us the full information on the pricing at least. And I also like this part, key differences better because you can have a glance and then just right away say, um, what are the differences within these three smartphone models? So again, ChatGPT 4.0 wins. Okay. So now I have the last prompt here. Let's say you're going to Rome and you want to have some recommendations and let's hit it. Yeah, this is taking some time, but it says Vatican City, art and culture, one, two, three, travel tips. Okay, that took 29 seconds. And let's see for Judge B40. Go. Okay, only 19 seconds. So in terms of speed, Judge B40 wins again. And let's read the results. Again, for both AI models, they both give a really good answer here. But for the formatting, Judge B40 just has something that it kind of gets me, you know, like I much prefer this formatting like morning you know like the two places we go and then lunch 
Like you can right away see what we're gonna do in Rome, and same for afternoon and dinner. And it also gets a travel tip. So this is something that Chapter Four didn't include. And in the end, it also had some additional travel tips. This one is more like similar, I would say. But for me, I prefer the answer of ChatGPT for all for this one. Okay, so overall, I would say ChatGPT for all in terms of speed, much outperforms ChatGPT four, and for the answers as well, I would say that ChatGPT for all in terms of research, in terms of summary, and then just writing in general, also outperforms ChatGPT four. So, what do you think? Have you tried a new model yet? Comment down below and let me know your experience. And with that said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do more comparison like this and then reveal some more AI tools to help you either grow your channel or become more productive as an entrepreneur. So, with that said, I will see you in the next video.